Today we're going to build the air engine from Avon. Uh, starting off just with the uh, materials that you need before you get started. Um, you're going to need a razor saw. Um, it's for cutting dowel and other pieces of wood. So I've um, got that. Check. Uh, you're going to need a ruler. Um, handy dandy plastic ruler just for uh, measuring a couple of parts we have to cut. Uh, you need two grades of sandpaper, 150 grit and 220 grit, so check, we got those. And you need some glue. Um, you can use wood glue or um, CA. Um, I'm going to be using CA for most of the build and wood glue for the parts where we need to seal things up. So I'm just going to set those aside and keep them handy. And... Um, Elastics. Uh, they come in handy for holding parts together when uh, when the glue's drying, if you need them. I've got them handy if I need them. If I don't, I'll leave them aside. And finally, um, for sanding, I just use a uh, block of wood, wrap the sandpaper around it, and uh, it makes things a little bit easier. So, let's get started. So, the kit comes on two laser cut sheets. One is the... Um, the adapter uh, and the other one is the main engine part. There's also two pieces of dowel. One is a uh, 3 16 inch dowel and that's for the axle and the other is for the pins. So we'll hold on to those, make sure we don't lose them. And I've got one of my parts has popped out on me. That's fine. First step we're going to do is sand the face of the parts. It's not strictly necessary but it makes for a much better looking kit. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of residue on the face of the parts. And uh, if you take a look at the back, it's a little bit cleaner. But um, it, what it does is it reduces the, um, the raised grain of the wood. And it also, um, it also removes the residue and makes for a, a nicer finish. So here we go. I'm just going to start with 150 grit sandpaper. I need half a sheet to wrap around my block. So I'll just uh, we'll wrap this around the block and go to town sanding. And you'll notice that there's uh, marks on one side of the board and not on the other. Um, sometimes it's important uh, which side is facing inwards or outwards, and it'll mention in the instructions about mark side goes down, mark side goes in. Um, if it doesn't mention anything about the marks, then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so let's get this sanded. Perfect, so that's the 150 grit sandpaper. Now I'm just going to switch across to do 220 grit. Great. Sanding's done. Let me clean up the sawdust and we'll move on to the next step.